everyone and welcome back to 5-Minute Family Search. So let's go ahead and show you how to do a search. Before I do that though, I just want to explain one more time that if you already have over 100 names in your temple file, it doesn't really matter what search you try to do because it's just going to pull over those first 100 names and how many ordinances are in those 100 names. So for me here it says 100 names searched and it found 253 ordinances. Now if this is your first time using the program these will be zeroed out and it will start with you and it'll work through your tree and it will find names for you who have the temple work that you are going to set the parameters for at those people that need to have that temple work done. So let's go ahead and come up here to the top left hand corner and we're going to click on that gear and when we do it'll say search again and I'm going to go ahead and click there and when I do I can set the parameters for my search. I can say I just want to search male, female, or both. I can say I want to find five names, ten names, or twenty names. I can do just baptisms and confirmations, initiatory endowment and sealings, or anything. So baptisms and confirmations, this is really good for the youth. If they're going to have a youth temple trip and they've been trying to find a name and they can't, they can come on to take a name and they can find a name in their tree to take to the temple. So let's go ahead, and like I said, mine's not going to change because this just pulling over the 100 names, but let me show you how to do it. So I can say I just want to click for look for males. I want to find five names for baptisms and confirmation, and I'm going to go ahead and click Go. Now, when I do, it's going to go ahead and start reading my reservations. And you can see it'll tell you zero names searched, zero ordinances found, searching. It has the percentage here of what it's searching. And this is what I was explaining to you earlier. If you need to leave, your results will be here when you get back. Again, you cannot cancel a search once it starts, and I, as I explained earlier, I found that out. I even uninstalled it and tried to reinstall it. It remembers where you are, and it picked right back up where my search was. Um, it does run in the background of your phone, and so you don't have to sit there and watch the screen. You can go ahead and do other things on your phone, and when you open the program back up, the names will be there for you. Now, this really is not searching my tree per se, it is pulling this information over from Family Search. If it was, I show you in another video my son's account, it really did start with him and it worked its way out. It took over an hour because it had to go through quite a few names before it could find how many baptisms and confirmations I had requested, but it was able to find those names. So here we are. It's telling me right now it's only at 40%. It has searched 49 names and come up with 114 ordinances. And as it progresses through, it'll tell you when it has stopped. But it's, since I do have those 100 names, it tells me your search is complete. You have more than 100 reservations. Search results will be limited. T tap help for more information. It just explains to you what I already have. So I can just click OK. So here is my search. So even though I said I wanted baptisms confirmations, I got more than that because it did go through just the first 100 names and pulled those directly over. If you had just said you wanted baptisms for the for men, it would have just pulled those directly out of your tree and not out of your family search account for the temple. So let's go ahead and filter this. So let's say I did run that, and since they have the 100 names, I'm going to click filter, and I just want to take boys to the temple for baptisms. I want to take my sons over there. So here we go. I did that, and now out of those 100 names searched, here are people who need to have their baptisms done. Now this looks like it's a ceiling and this looks like it's already finished, but here I have a baptism, 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 baptism. I can do the same thing and we can see if there's any females. I could have just run both, but I wanted to break it down so you could see it. So I have female baptisms, just going to click back on the screen so I can see. Here they're all pink, so I can see that. And here are baptisms and confirmations that need to be done. These I have shared with the temple. I share them until my children go to the temple and then I'll pull them back over, whatever's not complete, and then they can take those to the the temple. But that is how you use take a name. Like I said, if you're a first time person in here and you don't get into your tree a lot, you are going to find several names that are going to come up for you to take for the baptism, confirmation, initiatory, endowment, sealing to parents, sealing to spouse. They'll all be available to you. But it is a really great resource to have to be able to use quickly. If you, like I said, are going on a temple trip and you want to be able to take a family name, you can go into this program and within just a few seconds, you can have somebody out of your own personal tree to take to the temple. So it really is a great program to understand how to use.